Yo guys, you're watching the Rocky and Buzz show and this is TX2K. <laughs> Check it out guys, we're here at Houston Raceway. Texas 2K is an event for the ultimate street cars. We're putting through their paces, racing each other in different classes to find out who has the ultimate street car. We're here now, we're gonna check out some roll racing. Buzz, what's roll racing? So, basically it's for people who are a bit disabled and who can't drag race. Uh, Ignore but him. Of, no, honestly, that is the case. Uh, but over here, it's really, really popular, especially with the really high powered like Lamborghinis uh, and the other cars that struggle with drag racing because they break stuff. On top of that, the basics is this, is that rather than racing from a standstill, you're racing from a roll. This is what always makes it a bit difficult. Normally, what, it's about 40 to 50, 60, 60 mile an hour. One lane sets the pace, then the other lane is the one that catches up. As soon as the light goes green on one lane, that's when the race begins. There's always this kind of drama about something called slingshotting. We'll hear about it tonight. Where yeah. things, aren't, things aren't level, uh, and they always seem a bit unfair. How do you get a, a fair start between roll races? But that's like anything on the street. Uh, and that's why it's so popular here, but it's in a safe environment. <laughs> We're super excited about this because in the UK, where we're from, as you know, there's not many opportunities to start roll racing. There are some tracks out there and the companies and promoters have tried. It's not gone as well as these guys enjoy over here. So we're super excited to see a proper, proper roll racing event. They're prepping the track right now behind us, getting ready for the roll races. And yeah, me and Buzz uh, might get some tips because we're planning to go to Europe soon. Uh, with our monsters to roll race. I'm definitely not going to be roll racing in my car. <laughs> Listen, keep it locked. But the other thing to see as well is this event is so well run, it is probably the best run roll racing event. Boost Logic cars here. This is Zoe here, the CEO, the head honcho at Boost Logic. That's his own personal car. Check out his new wheels. These are specifically designed for Boost Logic. It's their own brand range of wheels. They've actually got a beadlock version that looks so, so stunning. And he drives his car, I'm told, pretty hard. Now, check them back out. The Boost Logic twin turbo kit. Charge coolers, blow off valves, billet manifold, all color coordinated to the car. You just, look how, just look how stunning that looks. Absolutely gorgeous. Now comparing that, we spoke in one of our videos last time about the R8 being pretty much a Lambo Hurricane in terms of the chassis. So this is very similar to my car here. This is a Performante, belongs to Justin Summers. Get following him, we'll put his link up over here in a minute. He's built this car with a Boost Logic Twin Turbo Kit again, same as mine. So if you look at the back, you'll notice a lot of changes that go from Performantes to normal Hurricanes. That's predominantly down to the ALA system, the aero system from the Lamborghinis, directly from the factory. Obviously, he's kind of coordinated to his car, but I've gone 24 karat gold on mine, which is a little bit extreme. We've got the billet plenum here as well. And one thing I like that I've seen here today is the forged carbon covers on the billet intake. I've got the normal twill weave carbon, so I'll be pulling up so here today shortly and hopefully getting hold of some of those for my car. But yeah, check it out, this car, 2200 wheel horsepower let that sink in built engine built gearbox nowhere near my league but 2200 wheel horsepower justin summers get following him some big things coming from this car
Yeah, Basically, we've just seen Lamborghini Gallardo. I think that car uh, is an underground racing car, I'm not sure. Epic. Possibly Dallas performance. It's just taken off in the left lane, set the pace, rolled with a Audi R8, possibly a sheepy car, and it's gone past the track 228 miles an hour, and then it's lost traction. We've seen a parachute come out of the back of the R8, uh, but we've seen the car on the left lane, which is a Lamborghini, spin around and hit the wall very similar fashion to, unfortunately, Giddy's accident yesterday. So we're gonna see what's happening now, but yes, yeah, unfortunately, there's been another massive crash at dx 2 k These are big speeds, so you've gotta be careful. qualify or when they are qualifying the faster the car gets the lane choice on the left or the right so generally there's some people we've seen today that choose the right they want to try and match the pace but there's some people on the left who want to just get to 65 miles an hour but the beauty of it is here the track's long enough it's fairly safe we've seen cars go 230 plus and they've stopped safely but on the flip side to that there's been some mishaps cars have gone off but roll racing in my opinion seems to me like it's a lot safer maybe something i want to participate in the future buzz calls me a loser, a loser for this loser. but let's see how it goes because quarter mile while i've seen at this event scares me a little bit keep it locked it's been pretty intense today roll racing probably some of the fastest cars we've ever seen i actually thought roll racing was a bit for losers but I think I might be able to get into it. What did you think of it? He was be safe to me all day. Roll racing for losers, but what we've seen today is some epic cars pushing well over 200 miles per hour. We've seen two unfortunate accidents, or some Lamborghinis as well. Uh, the Buda GTR as well has crashed, but right at the end, exhibition pass, underground racing, ran 233 miles per hour in the roll race. It's the first time we've seen such an event in the UK. We can't see this sort of stuff, but listen, TX2K has been a banger for roll racing. If you want to see more, subscribe, turn on your notifications because this ain't it. There's a lot more we've got to show you from TX2K.